With respect to China, 2016 was a pretty fascinating year. We had increases in government spending. We had increased capital spending from state-owned enterprises, incentives for consumers to buy cars and homes. Uh, there was lots of different forms of stimulus thrown at it. So now we're seeing this kind of stable 6 to 6.5 percentage growth rate in China, but one that is very much a courtesy of, uh, of, of stimulus levels that may not be sustainable. In the long run, <coughs> China is headed towards, let's say, a 4 to 5 percent growth rate by the year 2020. But what's interesting to us is what are the investment opportunities that may correspond to that along the way? Uh, so for us, China's on this long-term journey that entails lower growth rates, but still explosive growth in one of the subsectors of the Chinese economy that we're most interested in. Thank you.